anyone who's convicted of an offence offence carrying more than 12 months imprisonment um, is subject to automatic deportation. However, that's subject to their human rights and protection under the European Convention on Human Rights. So everyone has a right to the respect for private and family life protected by the Convention. So the courts, when considering deporting someone, have to take into account that individual's human rights on their individual cases. So where they have children in this country, or where they've got a partner, or a long um, length of time living here, that has to be taken into account. Now, there's yeah, a balancing just... exercise. The more yeah. serious the offence, the balance shifts in favour of the state. So any convict, any sentence of more than four years, that bal that that balance shifts in favour of the state protecting the public. Yeah, but I mean, it, it doesn't work like that in practice, that you, you can argue, because we spoke yesterday about one of the, the criminals, a uh, convicted sex offender. He got uh, a 13-year-old girl pregnant. Um, he is appealing deep. He has been trying to, to appeal his deportation for years. He's been quite successful. It's looking likely that he will be successful. Um, he was uh, in prison for more than four years. And he's basically said, look, my sons need me uh, in this country. I want to be a role model for them. Oh. Can you see how people oh, will say, well, how can it be possible that this man who's impregnated a 13 year old girl has served a sentence for those crimes? Um, clearly not an upstanding member of society. How can it be that he's even allowed to, for years and years, be allowed to stay in this country and fight his deportation? Well, you can't blame Mr Aziz, you're talking about, about using the law in his favour. That's his right and his lawyers to do that. This is the thing, though, that the Home Office have decided that they don't want, now can't deport him. And the reason is, is Mr Aziz has revoked his Pakistani nationality. Therefore, you can only deport somebody to a country where they can be sent to. Now, at the moment, he doesn't hold Pakistani nationality. He could re-accept it if he wanted to. Obviously, it won't be in his interest to do that, because in doing so, he'll be sent on the next plane back to Pakistan. But I think the Home Office were slow. Um, what, what I've seen, the difference, is between stopping people coming back to the country and actually removing people. Jemima Begum, we were successful because we stopped, the UK government stopped her coming back to the UK. It's much harder to remove. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the individual uh, uh, can then revoke their own nationality. Well, there's well no this is the problem, isn't it? But this, this is a problem. Sorry to interrupt, we're, we're a bit pressed for time. I just want one more with you, if that's all right, because this is a, a massive issue. They can, they can revoke this. The other issue, I would argue, is that people in the legal profession are willing to defend them. And I think there's massive, massive questions about whether or not that should be allowed. And could you live with yourself if you kept this man in the country and he goes on and gets another 13-year-old girl pregnant? Um, well, the answer to that question is, do we defend paedophiles or someone convicted of murder? Look, until well, you are a case, case is heard before the court, we can't be armchair ju jurors. We can't be... We, we have a system of... A criminal you say that, system, can't you? Hang on a second. Sorry, 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 world. sorry, sorry, no, sorry. You, 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 you yeah. can, sorry, you can choose what jobs you take, though, can't you? You can say no. You can just do another job. You, as in, as in, um, you could just defend someone else. I can tell you about the solicitor-client relationship. If the client tells me they did it, I can't defend them. I can't defend the case. That, that's fact. But it was found All I can do is prove, prove, ask the prosecution to prove. But if a client says they didn't do it and they're pleading innocence, which Mr Aziz is even claiming now, he says he's innocent, okay. then it's the lawyer's job to defend his client. Hmm. OK. Oh, look, I know, I, look, I, I wasn't, you know, trying to have a personal pop at you. I, it's, just, it's just the profession. I mean, I, I, I must say I, you know, trained to be a, a lawyer briefly, and um, I, I found it very, very difficult, this idea that, you know, this business of... You know, well, we can defend anyone. You know, we have to defend anyone. I just, it doesn't sit well with me. But, but, but I appreciate the fact that people are people look at it from different angles.